Tail the tape at six three-minute rounds, and it's at super welterweight. It's a local fighter, James Ozzy Osbourne, right down the road, Wickford, Essex, taking on international competition, Fernando Valencia, originally from Sonora in Mexico. Osbourne hot off a win, knocking out the undefeated Ray Bear on top tier boxing last time around. It was one of the best fights of the night. Osbourne typically an infighter, and uh, Fernando Valencia. <laughs> Considerably more experienced. Five knockout wins and nine wins. Bit of a showman and a fighter who you have some experience with, Sam. Yes, I do. Um, I boxed him oh, a good few years ago now, um, over, over six rounds. I stopped him in two. I'm the first, fastest person to stop him, so no pressure to uh, James Osborne. <laughs> Well, listen, I saw Fernando Valencia fight a few weeks ago, taking risks, waving arms, trying to open up the action seems to be his forte. No doubt about it. There's some awful power from Ozzy, who I think has a good understanding of the open stance matchup. Yeah, he's um, definitely built well, ain't he? But um, tricky when you've got a, um, a small south board that's going to look to be rolling under and let go of some big shots. You can see Osborne thinking about finding his way inside. Huge power with that left hook. Straight down to the body, good shot. Valencia's starting to have fun. But you get the feeling too much fun might be the wrong outcome. Yeah, he's got to stay switched on here because Osborne can definitely bang. I told you he was a showman. <laughs> I'm glad he did do that against me. I mean, he, like, he's been around for years, Valencia, another, another one that's been on the road. And um, again, he would have seen every single style in the book twice or three times over. And I've seen a lot of different looks from him. Sometimes he is on the outside, sometimes he'll do the dance, and occasionally we've seen him actually really hold and clinch quite a bit. Yeah, so. it depends what mood he's in, really. But um, just. He's obviously very, very active, bags of experience. Good bit of matchmaking for uh, James Osborne. I've often seen Valencia try and lead without that hook, but it's a different ball game against the southpaw. Yeah, he's um, got to be mindful because if, if he opens up, he's open to the backhand. Done well to move to his left, to move away from that left hand through this round. But you can really see the moment that James Osborne achieves that outside foot position. He's straight in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gets his foot on the outside, tries to work the back eye and come around the side with a hook. Good first round from Osborne. Well, two of us scheduled for Chris Hooks alongside Sam Gilly. Thank you so much for joining us on BBTV. This is Top Tier Boxing, and this is Momentum. Super middleweight action. Six potential rounds. That's a great backhand from Osborne. Lovely. Finding that left hand. And a great abuse on the right as well. Yeah, he's um he's getting uh, it, what, what I said at the start of the round, he's getting his feet into position nice and quickly now. And uh and he's landing big shots. You know, again, I mentioned Valencia's game plans at times, and I think he's kind of decided I don't really want to have to fight on the inside against this guy. No, he oh, had a little go there. I don't think Valencia wants to stand there for too long, no. But that, and that's the back in the yeah. way that we're seeing, no? Just double that jab up a little bit as well, Osborne. Just, you know Valencia's going to move away. Just double the jab up till he's on the ropes, and then let your shots go, because he can't move back any further. Let's go. Now you've got to let your hands go. That's what I mean about moving his feet that little bit quicker. The second Valencia's on down now. He's just kept his feet out of range too long. Valencia's got the room to get off the ropes there. You need to shut that distance a little bit quicker. 
And Valencia doing a great job, uh, quite timely moving off yeah. the ropes to his left. James Osborne, certainly a very strong fighter, a very basic but effective southpaw style, fighting on a Newlands gym. He's been hunting for that knockout, but perhaps might do well to throw a more than the odd single punch, no? Yeah, he's, um, he's, bit, he's staying a little bit closer, a nice slip left hand there. Valencia's doing well with it though, he's flicking his shots out, staying busy. That's much better, much better from Osborne. Pushed him back to the ropes and then let his hands go, much better. And it was more than one punch to get the job done. Exactly, yeah. A few thanks with the, uh, with the jab, we'll go and miss. Because every, every time Osborne goes to throw, Valencia's on the way back, just faint. Maybe like a couple of probing jabs to try and get, get him to do anything and then try and capitalize on them gaps. So get him to move and then start the sequence of attack, yeah? Yeah. Cut the ring. I, either, either that or get him to, because he does have a tendency to have like little moments where, where he wants to stand and have a go. So when he opens up like that, that's the time to catch him. Listen, I'm taking a look at James Osborne and thinking, there's no way I want to stand and have a go. Yeah, no, <laughs> I would, but, um, but his journey would have stand here and have a go with anyone. That's two rounds finished, right. Osborne can stop him now and I'll be, I'll be all right. <laughs> He's gone past two rounds. <laughs> oh, what a prophecy here for <laughs> <laughs> Round three. Three additional minutes on the clock. This is super welterweight, James Osborne. Complaining of punches to the back of the head. I didn't see, I didn't see. <laughs> Not a fan of the old rabbit punches? No. <laughs> Just get on with it. Some of them are going to go, that's, that's much better, much better from Osborne. Jab here, hand fight in response from Fernando Valencia. Good left hand. <laughs> Valencia's doing a better job of trying to trap that jab, though. Yeah, yeah, he is. He's controlling the lead hand really well. Little tap down there, parry and jab back over the top. Really nice. Mm. That's, that's a lovely feint and a hook over the top from Osborne. Yeah, he's got creative use of that lead right, which we haven't seen as much in this contest. Yeah. Oh, Good left hand. That left hand may have wobbled Valencia. The second his feet are close enough, he's so much more effective. Just needs to get into that range a little bit faster. Which has proven difficult against the showman. And that's the thing that strikes me about these fighters that have such a deck, deck touch with that left. That yeah. everybody knows what you're going to try to do. And you've <laughs> got to try to find a way to make that style work yeah. against all opposition in a tricky division. Yeah, of course. But the specialist is still, I think, very much alive and well if you can get that game plan to work in different directions. And that's something that I think a little bit of volume from James Osborne. And like you said, just really controlling that ring and then yeah. going for offense. Yeah. Yeah, you've got to put, you, you've got to put the, uh, the opponent into a position where, where you can capitalize rather than, rather than just throwing when you're going to be out of range. So, less is more sometimes in a situation like this. Stumble there, referee says. <laughs> Valencia celebrating a slip, I love it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wishful thinking. Yeah. <laughs> Here is the type of moment you would get the feeling that James Osborne might be able to get that magic going. Good body shot. That's where he just needs to, obviously Valencia's gonna look to hold the second he gets anywhere near. So, uppercuts to the body, hey, there we go. There's a second him arms go out to hold. The gaps are obviously there to the body. That was a great finish there from Osborne. A couple of, uh, couple of big hooks going in. Round four of a scheduled six. 
and a noticeably more urgent start from Osborne. Much better. Valencia moving the wrong way. He's walking on to that backhand. That's why he's getting, uh, why he's getting shut down and caught. Uses that really effectively, that, that lead parry jab over the top, but it's, uh, that's really nice. Up to the body right upstairs, lands for James Osborne. <laughs> Valencia taking another clean body shot and just doesn't even seem to phase him. They, they've, they've made a saying different, haven't they? Tough, tough men. But like I keep saying, this is, this is what prospects need. Develop their skills. Get out and get their experience. Without journeymen like this, we wouldn't have boxing. Let's see dancing on the outside. Left the body again from James Osborne. I'd like to see him loop that round the side now. He's gone downstairs a few times. Valencia will be, uh, be expecting that now. Maybe a little faint. Use the eyes, look at the body, and it puts something round over the top of the head. Nothing quite clean. Valencia, like you said, he just makes it so awkward. Once he's in yeah. the danger zone, he'll just bend over and accept the break, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just break up any sort of rhythm that you build on him. My bar, get close. Which in oh. itself is not a bad tactic, right? No, of course. Of course not. I have a feeling if we're going to see that with Maycock against Martin. Yes. Yeah, it'd be a very similar sort of, sort of like stylistic battle like this. But... Um, yeah, Jack Martin would just be relentless without having the shots he throws. Nice movement off the ropes there from Valencia. I've done well there. Valencia circling off to his left. Osborne stalking again in center ring. Good body shot from Osborne. That's where he needs to loop the left arm around the side. Especially when Valencia sliding down the ropes to his left, uh, to Osborne's left as well. Round five. Fifth round. New territory for Osborne here, so no. Two rounds left now, he can really start to let his work go. Not silly, but he can really start to turn the screw here. That's oh! Spencer. Left oh, hand. What a great shot that is. Landing absolutely flush for James Osborne. He was searching for it. And he finally found his mark seconds into round five. What did I say about that looping left hand? That was fantastic from Osborne. Oh, Fernando Valencia went down. Collapsed like a folding chair with that one. Let's see if James Osborne can keep up the pace. He's done really well to, to get up from that Valencia. That was a heavy, heavy shot. That was so much better from, um, from Osborne. Back to Mark to the ropes, and that looping left hand. Bang on the chin, good body shot as well. That body shot must have hurt, surely. And it was the changing of the body to the head, right? Yes, much much better. That's what, that's, what, that's what I was calling for a couple of rounds ago. He sunk a few to the body, then you just gotta put that one round the side. If he does drop that elbow, it's gonna land, and it did in this round, and it's put him on the floor. Just over 90 seconds on the clock, James Osborne with an absolute peach of a shot. Not 10. Turning the screw nicely here now, Osborne. Really nice. Body, body, you get the feeling the head is going to come. Swing, nice slip here. 
clinch. Fernando Valencia. That line of attack is such a problem when James Osborne finds his mark. Yeah, the second the second his feet are in the right position and Valencia's stuck on the ropes, that is the uh, that is the danger zone. Because he lets them fly and they're heavy. Osborne again to the left, outside slip from Valencia. Valencia, they're eating a couple of short punches on the inside. Referee warning, of course, about a clash of heads, I believe. Yeah, a little bump for the head. Valencia is getting a little bit of swelling underneath that left eye. Under 20 seconds. That might keep him out of the ring for about a week or so. Osborne again, big left hand. We certainly had to work to uh, open up the knockout punches. It was it, literally just as we were saying about him turning the screw a little bit, letting his hands fly. He done just that and um, caught Valencia flush. Fair play to Valencia though, because that's a massive shot. Big knockdown and he's still in there. Final Getting round. He's full power, he just needs to sit on them legs and really let them shots fly like he did for the knockdown. Well, James Osborne. Potential another minute to go between him and victory over Fernando Valencia. A convincing round previously, including a knockdown. You can see it 10 8. And what has been a landslide points in favor of Ozzy and Whitford and Essex with a partisan crowd here in support of him. But Fernando Valencia is indeed a survivor. He is. He is. He's the. Um even still now, still, still having a laugh in there, still enjoying himself. Could have a sore eye tomorrow. Much better with that left hand. Just dipped his knees and then threw it around the corner. Much better from Osborne. And Osborne has started to be able to breed a little bit more uncertainty yeah. with the body work and the head work. Which you got to do against Valencia. He's, he's put some groundwork in because he's been put he's been putting their body shots in for a few rounds and now he's just started to turn them around the side. So really good. Some blood from the nose now of um, the boss bomb. Also, I think a key thing when you're going to six rounds for the first time is you realize you have that much more time in which to lay the blueprint. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You haven't got to rush nothing. Squared up with his feet again there, Osborne. To make sure he don't bring that back foot forward when he's got Valencia on the ropes. Stay balanced, keep your shape, and let them shots go. Especially when you know he's going to try to move on you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Valencia is it to say yes I've escaped once more out of the corner but this fight has been a contest of jumping out of the frying pan into the fire over and over and over yeah cat and mouse stuff here here from James Osborne. Yeah, really good performance, that. And the left hand is, perhaps uncoincidentally, the left hand was the last punch oh, to land no. in that contest. He's got a cut over his eye. Oh, that must have happened in their final exchange. He's not going to be happy with that. I can see some blood on my notes. That must have been what occurred just in front of us now. Oh, there's none of my T-shirt, is there? <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's take a look at some of the action here. There was the left hand that sent Valencia down. It was gorgeous punching from James Osborne, who promised that southpaw attack, that fast-paced inside operation. And in the end, 
a moral victory for Fernando Valencia. Yes, yeah. To, to uh, I mean, it just shows how tough they are to get to get up in that shot and uh, carry on, still smiling at the end. I mean, that's something that's really unfortunate for us to have that cut above the eye. Because in these, in these sort of uh, at this stage of your career, you want to stay busy, you want to stay active. So that's going to uh, that's going to keep him out. It's going to need, it's going to need stitches. Well, the referee is ready, and it should be a very, very convincing victory in favor of James Osborne over Fernando Valencia. And Terry Cavanaugh will give us the results. Ladies and gentlemen, please show your appreciation for both boxers. They put on a great, great show for us. After six great rounds, we go to Mark Bates' scorecards. Mark scores the, con the contest 60 points to 53 in favor of your winner, James Osborne. Yeah, it was tough. I was trying to trying to set up some shots, but it was really awkward. Like, it was tough with the shots I did catch him, he we weren't going home with. But for that one shot I caught him in, but apart from that, proper tough. Yeah, you wobbled him in the third. Dropped him in the fifth and he wobbled him again in the final round. Yeah. Did you think you were going to get him out of there? He doesn't get stopped very often. No. To be honest, I weren't trying to trying to go for stopping. I wanted to get the rounds in. Trying to get the sixth round, my first sixth round. I just wanted to try and show I could do the rounds. So. Last time at the top of the show, you got fight of the night. Was there a bit of pressure in there tonight to get the same? Yeah, a little bit. I felt the pressure, but just got to do what I do. And what are the instructions coming from the corner? What did you want to showcase in that? I just wanted to try and set up the shots and work on the work the body really. On well, the last fight I didn't do that and it was open for body shots. I probably would have stopped him earlier if I landed it, so I was just trying to work the body a little bit. But it's, it's tough. You've got a slight cut above the eye that happened in the final round. Yeah. When are you expecting to be out again? You're gonna need a little rest to get that recover. Second of September, we've got uh, George O'Leary, I think, in an eight rounder. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. It's a good fight for both of us. So straight back in the gym for you? Yeah, straight back in the gym, yeah. Get this cut sorted with that and straight back in sparring. Perfect, well, it was a great performance, well done. Cheers, thank you. Cheers.